is to say no and not to say yes. Because to say yes is the easiest thing in the world. Now, SEMA is a club that we love, isn't it? Yes. Now, SEMA is a 50-member club. I know this will come as a surprise to many of us. And the reason is that only about 20 or 21 members are really active on, on a week-by-week -week basis. They're the ones who take on speeches, who take on roles, who contest other speech contests, who give us leadership in this club. The substantial members who are, if in, in, a, in a word, inactive, do contribute to the kind of leaders we have, the kind of resolutions we pass, and any motions that we want to see in the club, and not by their presence here. They contribute by denying us their quorum, by their absence in the club. The leadership of our club has made this difficult decision to classify our membership into active and inactive members. And to come to a blue, as a blue, to a lot of those members. Now what's an active member? An active member, which I believe is the people in this room, you and I, are those ones who come for every meeting in accordance the Toastmasters promise that those ones who take on roles whenever they are called upon, they take on, they, they, they sign up for speech slots and evaluation spot uh, from the program and represent us during our speech contests. Those members are the ones that really make this club what it is. This category of inactive members seeks to separate that class of membership from the ones who really have SEMA at heart. So why do we need to do this? Why is it important for us to do this classification? And I offer three reasons. The first one is processes. SEMA follows what is known as the Roberts Rules of Order, which means that for anything that you want to do in this club, we have to follow procedure. If we wanted, for example, to change our meeting place, if we wanted to change the time of our meeting, heck, if we wanted to change the name of our club, we need a majority of members to agree to this. And this is quite important. A few years ago, we had to postpone our annual elections three times because we couldn't get the last person over the hurdle so that we could have an election. It is a real problem. The second reason is what I would call priority. We look forward to the speech contest every year, don't we? Yes. We see the best speakers in our clubs come to the front and wow us and thrill us and knock us over with brilliant speeches. And for them to get to that point, they take on speech opportunities in the club. They evaluate as many speeches as they can. They take part in table topics to ensure that they remain sharp for the competitions when they come. And I think we should give this group of people the opportunity, the priority, to deliver these speeches when they come. Most importantly, I think we should reserve leadership to this group of people because they are the ones who know what they want out of the club. Just last week, I was speaking with the president of a club here in Nairobi, which shall remain unnamed, who told me about what happened during the last election. A popular member of the club showed up on election day and vied from the floor for the position of vice president of education. And obviously, he won. And promptly after the elections, he disappeared and was not seen again. Can you imagine the toll that has had on the club, on the leadership? And I can tell you this for sure, 
the DCB points have taken quite a bit. The third reason is privilege. I think it's important for us to give a positive spin to the idea of inactive members. Because sometimes there's good reason why we don't want to be inactive. Possibly a birth in the family or care for an elderly member of the family. It could be that work is taking you away from Nairobi and you cannot attend meetings. In fact, in this room, we have fantastic examples of people who have had those kind of situations. Just last year, our Vice President for Membership, Joyce Osorio, a popular and active member, was unable to come to SEMA, but he was able to use her membership in SEMA to visit other clubs around Canada as she did her studies there. I think there is a place for the inactive member. But the most important thing about being an inactive member is that it does not count towards the quorum we need for things like elections or passing resolutions. So while it might be bad news to a large section of our membership, I think we need to lift the ideals of the club because indeed the club is formed for the members who are active. So I therefore support, and I hope I can get your support as well to what our leaders have proposed to do to create these classifications. And I'll close by paraphrasing the words of Professor Bill Crawford, an author of seven books, a psychologist, and a famous Canadian public speaker. Let us say no without guilt to these inactive members, so that when they are ready, we can say yes without resentment and let them back into the fight.